after you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. Let's go! Have you ever worn any other suits than Zabu? If so, what tends to get the hottest, foam or resin heads? Okay, so, <clears throat> hi everybody. You might notice that that might not be me, or maybe it is me. Is there a Catalina imposter? Let's find out. Hi. Hi. Did that sound anything like me? <coughs> I really sound like that? <laughs> okay. What? I think I'm, I'm just a little bit sick today. <laughs> so my voice may not be as cute as you remember, but hi! <clears throat> What's your name? My, <clears throat> <laughs> my name is Catalina. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, <clears throat> What's going on my fellow fuck bucks? Zaba the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. Okay, so this is a lovely little topic that I saw going through my little, um, my Q&A and I noticed that this was something that I'd have to explain further in a different video because this is something that's just going to take a little bit of time to like explain and stuff like that. And so from my personal experience, I've had quite a bit of uh, time wearing foam bases and like foam heads and stuff because before I got Zabu, I had never worn a, uh, a resin fursuit head before. And like all the other suits that I had ever worn, you know, just to like try them on, just to see what it's like, you know, on the ropes and stuff like that, you know, with little things like that, seeing what it feels like, what the experience is gonna feel like, am I gonna like this? This is gonna be something that's for me. And you know, I've put on JT's head, I've put on Catalina's head, and I've put on Babby's head, as well as some other heads down there in the down there and back in the uh in the good old past. And whenever it comes to heat control, I would say that the foam heads they tend to build up heat the fastest. And the main reason why I think this is is because when it comes to most foam heads, like the infrastructure of the uh, the foam head, it's adhered right to your face, like it's right against your face. And you know, it's just like, it's right there against your face and you know, whenever something is sitting right on the surface of your skin, it can build up heat very quickly because there's not a lot of ventilation. Now, some makers, you know, whenever they make the snouts and stuff, they have a little cutout right there, that way they can fit fans into it and stuff like that. But for the most part, like 90% of the first you have whenever it comes to foam, it is adhered to your face. Now, when it comes to like the blanks or whatever, like, you know, the resin blanks, especially with the circle heads, I noticed that, you know, a good bit of the head itself is hollow, like it's not against your face, and there's just a little band across the bridge of the forehead and on the chin. Of course, I'll, I'll be explaining this a little bit further whenever I do another one of the first suiting 101 videos where I show you guys what it looks like on the inside of the suit, what the vision is like, and things of that nature. But as far as like the heat goes and stuff like that and comfortability, I will say that the foam heads are a lot more comfortable in my personal opinion than the resin blanks because the resin blanks are very rigid and they're hard and stiff. So it doesn't have a whole lot of give whenever you put it on. So if there's one of those little resin bones just kind of poking against your, your neck or your face or something like that, then that can be very, very uncomfortable. But when it comes to the foam heads, the, you know, the thing is like entirely made of foam. So if there's something that's against your face, nine times out of 10, it won't cause you that much trouble because it is soft and plushy and just oh so lovable. Now, one thing I can also say about the resin blanks versus the, uh, the foam heads is that most of the foam blanks, they have a lot better vision because you know, the eyes are a lot bigger and they're uh, more bored out or whatever. Whereas a lot, of, a lot of resin blanks, they have the tear duct vision where there's only a small little slit on the head itself that you can actually see out of. So yeah, I mean, foam and resin heads do have their similarities and they do have their differences. 
I won't say that one is better or worse than the other, but it's all about preference. I like resin blanks, and you know, I think that they do feel nice, provided, you know, this head has had a little bit of modification so that it could, you know, fit my chin area better because I didn't have to make like a tiny little adjustment on the inside because like where the chin rests, where the chin rests on my chin or where the jaw is hinged on my chin. <laughs> It was like digging into my Adam's apple because I have a big old great big Adam's apple and it was just like digging into there. So like on the inside, I just cut out just a little incision where that little foam piece was against my neck. That way it doesn't cause me too much, you know, discomfort and I could wear it all nice and all free. So yeah, that was just my thoughts on the whole um, resin blanks versus the foam blanks. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So... If you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can go to post more awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as the next Q&A is going to be? Have Fur Affinity. I also have an adoptable about Fur Affinity right now, so definitely go check that out. Top. But as always, my name is Alba the Circle, and I'm out of here. La 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 la. of the day. Do you prefer the foam heads or do you prefer the resin heads? Post your uh, comments down in the dibbly below and I'll share my thoughts with you guys.